Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh yes. Can you hear me? Oh yes. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Barry Crafty. Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I do apologize. I tried to put a software on my computer and it took over everything and messed up all of my audio and visual stuff so I do apologize good morning chocolate city sim hopefully you're doing well today I'm having technical difficulties <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get rid of that um thing that the big roommate got me for Christmas all right so what are we doing today we're making a flip book Thank you, everybody, for coming back. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate it. So here we go. Um, we're making a flip book. We're using five envelopes. And I was talking to Barry Crafty, and I was like, I don't even remember how to make a flip book myself. Early walk call at 5. Oh, wow. That's real early. That's early. That mean you getting off early today? So what I did is I just cut this little piece right here. And I was saying that before on the other video that's gone now. I was saying that um, <laughs> I hadn't did one of these in a long, long, long time. So we're going to work. We're going to work through any of those growing pains that I might um, have. So. I'm going to slide this in you know whenever i have technical difficulties i always feel a bit off just a little bit just a scotch so i'm gonna have to um i'm gonna have to go shopping for that no i'm joking um i do want to go to hobby lobby today i got a gift card from hobby lobby for christmas for crema and i want to try it I want to I want to try and spend it. I want to try and use it today. But I have a few things I need to actually do, adult things, mom life stuff, so I may not be able to get it done. All right, so this is going to be our cover and then we're going to a flip book. I don't have one on my desk. A flip book is just a book with a bunch of flips on it that allows you Hello Sweet Drop 45. How are you doing today? Um to have different pages that flip open to another page that flips open to another page that flips open to another page. So this is going to be our outside like this. And then our inside will flip like this. And then you have like up flips and things like that. And then you can make a little album if you choose to. Um, this is probably just going to be a book with some things on it because I really didn't know what we were going to do today, to be quite honest with you all. I did not know. But now I do. I'm OK. Um, thank you for asking. Having slightly technical issues, but you know what? I need to start um, turning my audio, turning my phone on at the very beginning so I can hear what's going on. But thankfully, Bear Crafty was like, uh, you talking? <laughs> no, I was to myself, apparently. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure this book fits in, this envelope fits in well. And normally what I'll do is I'll number the flips is one and then we'll put another flip in here 
and then another flip there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to fold this over and we're going to put our flip in here. See? Just like this, just like so. Good morning, Samara. How you doing today? Hopefully well. Making a flip book. So we got one last thing we could flip. So we got one, two, three, and then four. I think we're just going to do four versus all the other stuff. And so this one, if you wanted to, you could keep a tab. Come on, camera. There we go. Um, if you wanted to, you could keep the tab out. We probably will not keep the tab out, but all these little tuck spots, you can make um, another tuck to go in. So now we have our base and we need eight pages to cover it up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we might actually do this. So we might keep this little tab. So now I'm going to pull out some paper and then you you know what we haven't used in a long, long time. We haven't used washi in a long, 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 long time. And we're going to use some washi today because I have told myself this is my New Year's resolution, right? A semi New Year's resolution. Girl, use your crap. <laughs> so I'm trying to use my crap. Um, you know, craft is... We say we stay saying silly stuff like that, don't we? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna buy anything until I use all of the stuff that I have right now. Hmm, okay, we're using this paper wildflower, and this is the paper that I use for the spooky collaboration. It has a, it's treated texture, so it says three fabric texture designs, three pearlescent designs, two spot UV designs, and half double sided paper. So half double-sided paper means one half is double-sided, the other half is not. And this one tore in half on me, speaking of halves. So just keep that in mind if you get it. And so the theme is flowers today. And the sky isn't blue. The sky isn't blue. It's a reflection of the ocean. That's what I was taught, huh? All right. So, but it's all good. I want to use these Oh, is this the shiny paper? Shiny? No. Um, if you haven't seen Moana, I always, whenever I hear the word shiny, that's what I reference to. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, let's see. I'm going to use that. And I don't want to waste all these cute little papers, right? Uh, we love this paper. This is definitely Bear Crafty's colors. The rainbow. <laughs> Got to get so technical with <laughs> oh iridescent uh that's what the thing said yeah <laughs> all right so this is material it feels so good i love that i'm not sure if you ever used um fabric samples when i was in elementary school we did that as a project some fabric samples it was so fun to do the teacher was probably trying to find a way to not spend all her money and do it because you know teachers don't get paid a lot so that's four and we're going to use this twilight right here and i think we're going to use these two yep five and then we're going to use this amy tangerine paper right here i want to use this for uh easter it has some bunnies on it so let's hope that we can keep that in mind. But I think this little purple flower right here will look cute. I'm not sure if you've seen the, seen this paper pad before. It is from 2018, so it's an older paper pad. But I'll do a quick flip through of it. Literally one page of bunnies. These Amy Tangerine, Jen Hadfield... Uh, and Maggie Holmes tend to have some of the same aesthetic, in my opinion. So that's just my opinion, though. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We need. 
I don't know if this one's going to work. Let's leave that one up. We need three more pages. That won't work either. This one. Mm. We'll use this one. So we need two more. You know, um, I remember when I first started going to Tuesday morning when I lived in Mississippi and um, we used to go crazy, like crazy over these paper pads and things like that. And now that Tuesday morning has resurfaced with crafts because, you know, they filed for bankruptcy at the beginning of the pandemic. I would say like three months into the pandemic, we uh, we lost a lot of craft stuff, right? As in the crafting community, we were kind of sad. And now that they're back, I went there. I want to say in the beginning of no, in the beginning of December, looking for things for my kiddos' teachers. And then I went back the week after Christmas. Oh, thank you so much, Liz. Um, and they went up on prices. Oh my goodness! Listen. I'm, it's, it's plenty of you here. I know that you may not want to write in the comment section. Yes, Samara, I need for you to tell me an answer. So Barry Crafty and I have been talking, right? No, I'm not going to have a, doing some weird, <laughs> some weird um, <laughs> collaboration. Don't worry. So our measurements are going to be four and a half by six and five and three fourths. Great. All right, so I'm just, I've been writing on my scoreboard. I mean, it's mine, right? So it's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> All right. Just so I can remember where to cut the paper. And um, yeah, because, you know, I had, I was like, Liz, we should do, and she didn't say no, okay? She So she didn't say no. I want to use these as the front because they're thick. So I have to make sure not to cut those. I can cut one down to normal size, but the other one, we want to make that little flap, right? So what I am, we, we have been in discussion um, about thumbnails. Why is this so pretty on one side and so okay on the other side? I don't know. Uh, we have been in discussion. We've been in talks about thumbnails. Now, you all know that I, I'm going to go down one eighth. I always kind of four and a half and one eighth. So we can have that little white line, um, the white border, excuse me, around it. So this won't take that long. It's only eight papers, right? Um, if you don't want to participate, you don't have to, you don't have to leave. You, you guys don't have to leave. What do you feel about how, what, what is your take on craft thumbnails? I'll tell you, I don't like thumbnail pictures of people's faces. Like, Oh, look, I bought a hundred dollars worth of this from the Dollar Tree. Wow. Look at all the bags I have in my hand. I don't like that. But do you like thumbnails that show the project that you're going to use are you going to see or do you are you okay with a generic not a generic but a crafted thumbnail versus your face or a face or the project so she and I were discussing it and you know if you haven't been to Bear Crafty's channel I'm not sure why not but go to her channel she makes beautiful things beautiful 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 things i am trying to be very encouraging with my words a gentle push for her to create more things right now she's in a crafting slump but she has been blessing us with biblical things um bible journal beautiful bible journal creations what she does in her bible journal her craft, her Bible craft bag, I guess you could call it that. 
Um, so it's been really a pleasure to watch. I haven't been able to watch all of them like I want to because YouTube don't give me freaking notifications. I actually have to go and find her channel to be like, okay, she put up a video today. If she doesn't tell me, I posted a video. So I am sure that is another thing with the algorithm. Like I'm not actively out searching for certain things. Lately, I'm telling you what I've been searching for. Fallout 76 stuff because that game has me by the ear right now. Which it shouldn't. I shouldn't be that addicted to a post-apocalyptic game, but I blame Chuck City Sim on that. Uh yeah, I said it. I blame her on it. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so okay. I've been talking to Barry Crafty about it, right? And she feels oh now you now you now you yeah uh-huh she feels that um you could put a picture of your work to get people to show up and I told her why I didn't like that. I told her because I feel like people don't they'll just see the thumbnail and they'll click to where the picture is to to get that information and be done with it. Let's see. As for thumbnails, I like to get a taste of what's coming. I don't like thumbnails that have nothing to do with the video, like clickbait. Well, none of my things are clickbaity. They're just, I guess, pretty, prettier than. Yo, are we in trouble? I was about to say, oh, no, ma'am. Are you serious? Hold on. Let's put this to the side. Let's put this to the side. This is wrong. All these are cut wrong. Why are they cut wrong? Did I not measure four and a half? <gasps> Shut the front door. Is my ruler broke? Lord, Lord have mercy. Okay. How is this four and a quarter? Okay, okay. I got this, no worries. Okay, I wish I had known this at first because it's not really good for me and my paper trimmer to be that intimate with these little thin strips, but we're going to do it. Okay, so that's one. So what, what do you mean you agree, Chocolate City? You want to see the project before you look at it? So this is my thing about that. I feel that people don't watch all the video if you do that. Right? So I feel like people only see the, they see the picture and then they're like, oh, that's the picture. Let me click to how it is at the end so I can see it. That's what I think. I'm not one of those people I'll watch the whole video. As long as it's not like super duper long. Yes, and what I'm saying is that's what she said in short. Let's cut some of this off this way. Four and a quarter. I cannot believe that, y'all. I wasted a whole eighth of an inch doing something else we could have did on the other thing. I don't like click paint videos, like show you how to win a million dollars and then you really can't win a million dollars. I don't like those, but I will prefer I guess I like thumbnail thumbnails versus a picture of someone the work but I watch a whole video I don't um not watch it okay so y'all want me to not have thumbnails you want me to just show you the work is that what I'm getting are you agreeing about clickbait are you saying my thumbnails are clickbaity I'm confused I feel attacked I'm going home <laughs> Even it's not the I'm not I'm not changing it. I'm sorry, very crafty. I'm not gonna do it. I'm joking. I'll think of I'll think I'll think about it. <laughs> no, mine aren't clickbait. You can't see nothing on mine. <laughs> All right, so um gonna go here.
I sure would like a glass of water. That is one purpose. I think we were referring to the general vibe. Like I told you, your thumbnail is your first impression. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, general videos. Yeah. Um, I don't like those videos either, but I um just because I read the analytics a little bit more than I probably should read the analytics. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and score this. Now I am not. Why is that off? So this is four and a quarter. But why is it off? We're going to mess this up. And I'm going to need somebody to blame. So um, I'm going to blame Barry Crafty. Could always trim it down though. So I'm just using my paper trimmer as the scoreboard versus getting out the paper trimmer. I mean the score board as well and so here we go with this I'm gonna leave it just like that now we need to just cut this down some four and a quarter I think that's wrong. Yep, five and a half. This paper is so odd. It's like in Animal Crossing when you have the person post a video and they have a picture of themselves. I'm like, late to scroll past it versus a picture of the island. Um, well, I don't ever, I don't like to stop on people's videos that have faces anyway, unless it's um, someone that I subscribe to. So if I sub subscribe to Bob's Animal Crossing videos, I'm going to click on it because I know Bob likes to show his face. Um, but the funny thing is the analytics of people that do this for real, it shows that people click on more are more prone, or at the time of the person that made this particular statement, people are more prone to actually click on a video that has a face on it than a no face video. All right, so this is our front cover. Yes. Yeah. F. All right, so we got our front and our back cover. It's so weird that I think that the analytics for a lot of things are not the regular viewers. Um, as an example, I have watched. I'm just going to go through these really quickly. I have watched a few people say, "Do you know any?" For example, I played a Sims video games and it's like do you know any sims streamers that show their face i like this person but they have too many jumps they have too many clips in their videos and i'm just like i never knew people actually put that much stock into those types of videos but they were posting it that's what they wanted to see so it's always very interesting that's why i was asking y'all um what y'all take on it was. So we're going to put this one to the side and we're going to go here. Let's just make sure you can see everything. And we have that. And I think we're going to go close to the edge than in, inside. I don't mind them having their face present in the video, but having a thumbnail of them when it's not about them. Well, yeah, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to do an experiment and I'll let y'all know after the experiment is over about it i personally don't want to see your dumb face but if you want to put your dumb face on there go ahead like for in the in reference to crafting i don't care that you have a picture of your face holding bags up from the dollar tree i just want to see what you bought from the dollar tree so but also i read more of what's in the title than uh yeah i don't you know i don't i don't care 
about that. And I think a lot of people, so I, I have to look at it from two, two, two different extremes. Cause I do make video content as well. And I know a lot of people like to be able to quote unquote, connect with the person that they're playing, that the person's playing the game. But I'm like, I'm watching you play the game. Um, it's nice if you have your face, but I don't really care. As long as, I, as long as you're talking to me, right. If you're not talking and you're just playing the game, then I tend to click out because I like to talk to my audience. So I think that's so um, if you do decide to do this and this is not a tutorial based video because it's a live stream. But if you do decide to make a thumb, uh, um, a flip book and you want to put something in here, which I won't be putting anything in here today, make sure you do not cover up your opening. Also, I like to use cards that have a this type of surface versus a V surface. I read the title more so than look. Yeah, I read the titles. Like, for example, if you put another craft hall from blah, 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 I want to see it. Or if you put, I don't know, discounted things. Like when I see enable alert, I click on those right away, like right away. I will click on an enable. Oh, come on, camera! I will click on an enable alert quicker than I can. You want a million dollars type of thing, um, only because I'm trying to see what I'm about to go spend my money on. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. I want to. I want to know what I've been enabled to. Like I've seen, you know, late, but lately, whoever's watching this, I don't mean to be rude to you are insensitive to you thinking that you got a good deal. But Hobby Lobby is not doing those 75% off deals currently. So for example, which I didn't get this from Hobby Lobby, but the last times, you know, like say for example, this is from Hobby Lobby and it's like Hobby Lobby clearance, run, don't walk. And it says 40% off clearance. All their crap is 40% off at, at a point. So don't waste your time trying to go and buy everything that's 40% off. Just because you see the orange tag does not mean that that's a good deal because sometimes they have crap for 50% off. So keep that in mind, right? That's that's my, as, as my friends are saying, that's my TED talk for the day. All right, so I don't, I think I want to put a yellow. Did I use the yellow? Girl, you used the yellow. All right. Yeah, I like this better. Yeah, I like that better. So, you know, in that instance, I want to see what you have gotten from, you know, an enabler alert. Like I remember um, someone posted enabler alert for Martha Stewart papers that was on sale at Amazon. That tw her 12 by 12 was like under five bucks. And I was like, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. But I don't actively seek out enabler alert videos either. Like if it's somebody I'm subscribed to, I will look at it. For example, Poet Spice um, is probably a bad influence on the craft community when it comes to her. Um, haul videos anybody in the craft community but she hauls videos when she does a haul video i'm like okay let me go ahead and get my pen and paper down because i want to buy something i want to get this like she showed that train from anna griffin her project was amazing i was like i want that train and i went back and forth about it because the train is it wasn't on sale and if you know anna griffin you know she's very posh when it comes to um certain stuff we're gonna need a different sheet of paper i think good uh hello did i cut too many pages i apparently did honey all right so let's see mm -hmm. that's good that is great so we can just wait a minute hold on um Back one, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. Which is these two, and then one more. Is that right? Yep, apparently so. So you know, like if someone put enable alert or haul video, I want to see what they got just in case I decide that I want to get that thing. Um, also, like if someone says project share, I want to see the project. But I, I really tend to watch more 
um, videos on how it was made versus the thumbnail. But I know that what I like is not necessarily what people that like this white balance is going crazy right now. Um, that watch my channel is not really, I don't know, you know, I don't know what people click on. Do you click on it? I, I feel like people click on it because it's me versus the thumbnail. But we were talking about attracting um, different people, having people watch a whole a whole video versus two or three minutes of a video um, from start to finish. And I was telling her that I remember when... Um, I was telling Barry Crafty that I remember when, um, what's her name? The frugal crafter had said that what happens is sometimes people will watch your video and they'll stop it or they'll go away from it. And YouTube doesn't flag that as a completed video watch because they just click on it and they watch up to X amount of minutes of it. And then they go, um, and that could hurt the person's channel. So I, I'm, I just think that the analytics that they use probably isn't right. Um, I got flagged, not a hard flag, but flagged as a muted flag for um, on my Twitch channel for music. And it's not copywritten music. So I, I just decided to take it off because I don't want to have, I want, because I don't show my face on my Twitch, right? So I want people to hear me talking. As much as I talk on there, I need for them to hear it, not be muted for five or 10 seconds or five minutes or three minutes because of that. Like if I showed my face, you could probably try to see the um, ex facial expression, but you can't see that because I have no face to express on those videos. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, just sitting, we were, you know, discussing. Now, you know what I did not do? I did not make a cover for this if y'all were saying where to cover for that I don't freaking know shoot let's see I don't want to take three pieces and this would be done in my opinion so we're just gonna leave it like that now if you wanted to you could cut this lip off all all together I'm gonna leave it on um I think I'm gonna leave it on yeah so Anybody have any uh, great discoveries over the the weekend? Did everybody have a three-day weekend or four-day weekend? What'd you do? I did nothing. Played video games. Did some cleaning. I really want to get in my closet. I don't want to Marie Kondo it because Lord have mercy. I'll probably sit on the floor in a pile crying. I have some clothes, so um, just be prepared, you all. I, I don't think I'm going to cry, but just be prepared. So, okay. My mom um, passed away in 2012, and it, this is going to sound a bit morbid as well. Um, I kept her clothes that she went to the hospital with in her shirt, not the, her whole outfit. Um, just her shirt, because I could fit her T-shirt. So I have it in the closet. I have a few of her clothes in the closet. And I think that if I were to, you know, start messing around in the closet, my closet, messing around with her stuff, I would be emotionally attached. Although I've been watching decluttering, minimalistic. Um, I've been watching a lot. See, I've been watching a lot of living out of your mobile home or van, turning your van into a house things. Don't don't ask. Just go with the flow. Don't ask me what I'm, I'm plotting because I'm not plotting anything at the moment. OK, nothing at the moment. But I've just been watching those because um, one of the ladies, Joanna Plans, I think is her name. She used to do a lot of crafty planner videos. And even though I'm not in the planner community, I I used to enjoy watching her videos. I like watching planner videos just because I like the stickers and stuff that they use. I know I am watching it for the wrong reason. These ladies are pouring their whole heart and soul into these craft supply videos that they're doing. And I'm watching it for the sticker. Anyway, um, so she's, you know, 
and you know how YouTube will link a whole bunch of the same videos together. So now my algorithm is messed up because your little friend, my little roommate has been sneaking or had been sneaking. So sorry for the loss. I totally get that. My dad passed up and I have saved several articles. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it, you know, it's rough in my opinion at the very beginning. Yo, we didn't even glue these things together. What was I thinking? All right. That's okay. We're going to glue them now. Shoot. All right, so we didn't glue our book together yet. I got overzealous. So I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to just line this with some glue. We're going to use Aileen's because Artie, our glitter glue, would probably be like, ha, ha, ha. No, I'm not doing that. So, um, you know, I have a few of her things that I kept. And then my aunt was supposed to come and help me go through it, you know, for the moral support. And then she decided to leave me too so um yeah because I was went in the garage and I was throwing a lot of stuff away and my aunt yelled at me she's like what are you why are you throwing my sister's stuff away I'm like she can't use it though like she can't you know I wasn't trying to be insensitive and then she got mad and cussed me out so I left it alone hi Sherry how you doing hope you had a great weekend hopefully your Day is going amazing. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't want to keep a lot of because it's this thing. It's way worse than the Marie Kondo um, thing. It's called the Dutch something. And basically, they have nothing in their house. Um, and it's set up like that in case, you know, you decide to leave. And who's going to take care of all your junk? They have it set up where you don't have to worry about that. It's just a few things, some things that are emotionally attached. You could be emotionally attached to them and other things, um, not so much. So we're going to go ahead and glue this back down. Um, get into it. So I, um, cause I have clothes in my closet. You know, this is, this is a bad thing that we do. I'm going to lose some weight to get in this. <laughs> If you had that outfit in your closet for more than a year, more than six months, I will say a year because, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get motivated to lose weight. More than a year. And you ain't lost the weight to get in that outfit. Donate it. Somebody can fit that thing. Like, get rid of it. Like, for real. What are we doing? Why are we doing it? So that's what I need to do. Get in that closet of mine and get rid of a lot of um, before I had a child clothes. Cause I don't ever, I can't ever see myself actively pursuing that weight that I was before I had my baby. It was a lot of work to um, maintain that body. And I like eating a lot of foods. Okay, so we're just in here. That was a terrific day for me when I tossed out my at the baby clothes traumat traumatic. Yeah, so you lost all your way back. So I lost the weight after I had my son. And then um I have some things that prevent me from actually getting to where I really, really thought I wanted to be. And then I looked at those old pictures and I looked like I was a creature from the blue lagoon or something crazy. So I'm happy. Um, I'd be happy if I dropped some some weight, right? Just my body would be overall healthy because I don't think the frame that I have was designed for the weight that I carry. But um, you have to you have to be an active supporter of your <laughs> journey of losing that weight, right? All right. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna do something that we rarely do, y'all. We're gonna bust out the washi tape. Yep, and I think we could use this washi tape. See, I told you we're going to try to do things we don't normally do. And washi tape is definitely a part of a flip book, just so y'all know. I didn't lose any. I gained 60 pounds with my first one. Oh, wow, okay. I um, I can't remember how much I gained with this little boy. But it was enough that people 
um, were like, you look different. My body, I like the body that I was blessed with after my child, right? Um, my bones don't like that body. I have bad knee pain and back pain. But it's not it's not my child's fault. It is um, medicine. I take medication that allowed me to, you know, get thick, thick, I guess is a good word for it. I'm just pulling out some wash tape. I don't have a lot of wash tape where I'm sitting right now. I want to make sure I word that carefully because, you know, if you bought one tube of washi tape, that'll probably last you forever. And you probably haven't even used that whole tube up yet. Have you? I know I haven't. And I thought I had a lot of washi tape. And so I started going through it and I got rid of some of it. I think this might go versus that one because we already got enough color, but we'll see. All right. So now we're going to... Um, Leave this as is. Leave this as is. This is going to bug me. It's going to bug me. Because I feel like every time I pull this thing, it wants to slide out. So let's go ahead and help it not do that. All right. You can never have enough color. Uh, ha -ha. Thank you so much. I have a ton of washi and hardly use it. Yeah. Washi tape is one of those craft supplies that's kind of forgotten. Unless you use it a lot. And I don't... Washi, my washi tape and I are on a... Um, not good terms all the time. Sometimes I like the washi tape and other times I'm like, this washi tape is crap. <laughs> Look at it. It won't even stick down. Wash tape is really just decorative, loose tape, right? <laughs> but I did say that whenever I, I was going to try different things or, you know, add some stuff that I normally don't use... All right, so we're going to let this dry. I think we're going to let it dry like that. And so this is the beauty of a flip book, right? Whenever you flip it, you should be able to flip it in different ways. But we made ours into like an actual little book book versus a flip flip over and under. Girl, yes. Hold down. The That's what I use my wash tape for. I'm like, yeah, you, you can do this job without me getting mad at you. Because, um, you know, wash tape is uh, it's hit or miss. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pull out some things that I want to use in here. I did not grab any of my cards. Um, Project Life cards, because I forgot that I had posted that we were going to do a flip book. Until Barry Crafty mentioned it to me. I know. I just posted it this morning. But I forgot. Alright. So we're going to be using this. I got this from. Like I said. Tuesday morning for $3. Again. I'm not a planner. But this is a good deal. And look at all these cute little. Um, what are these called? Shapes. I thought they had a fancy name for it. So we're going to use that. And we're going to use some stuff from the Hobby Lobby. To go in here. I did buy two of these, so don't be alarmed if you see me open a new one from time to time. But I thought these were so adorable. I was trying to get Bear Crafty to spend her money as well as Samira to spend some of their money on these things. But all I got was a cute, so, you know, it didn't work. But this is how it looks. And we're going to use a few of these little flower pieces. Like this one should work. And these are not stickers. They're die cuts. So if you have a die cut that can make those, you should be good to go. Uh, that's too much for this one. We got that. And this. And maybe that one. Oh, and maybe that. Okay. 
Okay. I have been trying. I've been practicing. It's, it's sometimes it's hard work. Has anyone colored order from Timu? I did. Yes, I have. What's the? You got a question? I did show you. I actually did a video about these on the live stream as well. I took a picture and sent it to you. I sure did. And you said, those are nice. Um, I ordered a small order. Yeah, I did. I can show you a few things that I got from there right quick. Give me one second. It's so funny. I was getting ready to put this up too. So I ordered, this is a quick side note, just in case anyone's wondering. I ordered this mold. So this would be really cute to make into crayon colors, like melt down some crayons and give these as little gifts to my son's friends for school. Um, this right here is a some tea and muffins. And you don't send me a flip through of them. Oh, I didn't send a flip through. I just sent a picture. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, you know what? I will do that after this. I will call you on Hangouts. Um, yeah, for the colors. They're cute. I think they're really cute for kids. Put this little stag right here. And then these charms. And they were pretty big. This is a big piece, right? My measurement is not working today. I measured that wrong. So roughly two and a quarter for that one in this key. And I got free shipping. And I think I had 30% off my first order. Um, I think there's a little spoon, an uh, eagle, or a hawk. A little present. A wreath. This is a bow. A few of these, you know, y'all know I'm addicted to charm pieces. Um, so some charms, um, some seed beads, some, I think these glow in the dark, I think. If not, no, they may not, but they're hearts. So I had bought this a while back, um, October, November time frame, September, October, maybe. Uh, this little bucket of beads i got these because i was like oh, i'm gonna try some shakers i'm not gonna give up on the shakers yet um some washing christmas washing oh and these little cards i'm glad you mentioned that because i was like i'm gonna use these these i feel like i got duped on them these are these cost too much for the size that they are in my opinion but we got them they're called sweetness material paper so these little papers and um, some tape. I got some uh, stamps and I think I got a few dies from there as well. I'll put those up already. I got this as well from there. And I thought this was really cool because it looks vintagey. And I like those things like this lady picture and these butterflies and stuff like that. Yeah, that's really good. Almost a dollar item. Very good. Um, and then I tried to be very mindful of what I was buying because I I was, again, thinking I don't need all that. And then I bought this. This was probably the best deal um, for what I got. And it is... I, I can't remember the prices right now, but if you had a question and you wanted me to show it to you, I could. These things right here are glue dots and I I did the math and I was like if I were to go to the Dollar Tree how much would I um, benefit or not benefit from it and so that's how I um, math it up math some of the things to see all right so we're gonna put this washi tape right down here it's going to be a little bit on the weird side because it doesn't look like it's going to work for us. so we're going to do two rows of washi i just need to see if this is going to be pretty or not on here yeah i think that's going to work so we're going to definitely use this came from joanne fabric um 
that little dollar fifty spot. And I'm gonna use some air art glitter glue because I don't want wiggle room. So I'm just gonna shake this glue up. You know, I was telling Chocolate City Sim, I'm not sure if she's still here or not, but we play video games or we chit chat probably just about every day when it comes to video gaming and stuff and real life stuff sometimes too. But um, I was telling her about private servers and game things, and it's so interesting because today Barry Craft and I was talking about it from a um, a game a, a crafter scenario and she was telling me that someone was like hey if you want to hang out with me you can hang out with me but it's going to cost you i won't go into full detail on what the person is doing or not but i was like that's crazy i'm gonna have to start doing that <laughs> so i'm gonna put two sets down two things down so um it's interesting that i i think people are doing it that's crooked very crooked craft a straight people are attempting to make as much money as possible and so we was talking about how people monetize their youtube stuff and i was watching this person yesterday and he said um something to the effect of you guys are watching my videos but you're not liking and subscribing i'm gonna have to make this a members only youtube account and he said if you wanted you'll pay for it i was like what is that is that the way of the world the pandemic then brought out the um the worst of us when it comes to money i mean it's always been there but it's really just more apparent now how people feel i suppose and I was like, well, I'll watch you till you're free. I'm like, you ain't talking to me, but I ain't paying for it. I ain't paying for that. Oh, boy, I had a guy who played Scrabble, and he was chatting and asked me if I was married and then didn't even finish a game. Oh, my goodness. People so funny. People so funny. He's trying to, he trying to holler at you. He says, Sherry, you must have had some really um, titillating words that you was dropping on this man <laughs> he was intrigued or he was whooping his butt one or two when i first started playing a video game um hi frosty how you doing today yes it's a whole on live video thank you sherry <laughs> i was looking for you on twitch frosty i mean i'm not on twitch right now i just have it open I was like, I don't see Frosty yet. <laughs> you made it. Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day thus far. All right. So now we, we got this washi tape placed. We're going to just lift this up as gently as possible. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate that. I hope everybody in the community is like not freaking out. All right, so we got this. I think, I think we could probably get away with this one, but we're gonna have to make this a little bit neater because this is not giving anybody any type of happiness. These lines, I know, I know, Barry is like, uh, please cut that. It needs to be even. <laughs> and we're gonna make it craft a straight. <laughs> it's gonna be as even as. You know, my fingers can cut. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more. <laughs> Barry be like, Bear Crafty be like, uh, so um, we going to clean up. She never said it like that. So back in the day, I'm going to tell y'all a story about Bear Crafty. She is freaking hilarious, right? When I lived in. Mississippi I used to craft and I had a clean table that's when I first started crafting so I haven't been crafting at a very long time I've been buying more craft supplies than crafting if that makes any sense to anyone 
So we're going to do this like that. I'm going to turn the page. Can I? Can I turn the page? And she used to always tell me you didn't work yourself into a little square. Always. And she's right. I have. All right. So we got that page. Got this page. Going to turn it. Going to mess this one up. It's got dots. I guess we good. So there we go. I'm going to cut this and clean it a little bit. But she always says um, about my little corner, my little square. Like you see, we started off with a fresh open thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like a 12 by 12. It started off as a full thing and now we at what? Uh, a 8 by 6, 8 by 5 spot. <laughs> I just want to be up and close and intimate with the project, I suppose. I don't know. All right, let's see. Can I pull this with these tweezers? I learned that from a planner person. I'm telling you, planner people, yes, yeah, six by six. I know. All right. So <laughs> we got this going on. All right, let's see. So we need to see how this... This is washi tape is deceitful. I swear. I get on camera and they want to show out. All right, so this is good. We're going to just apply this right here. Um, yeah, um, it's a um, flip book. It's going to be a, a book for pictures and craft stuff. Um, but it's a, I'll show you. I don't have a flip book close by, which is really odd. I moved my desk, and so I can't show you. I have I have zero references, but let me show you once I get this daggone glue down better. So now, you know how I told you I was going to use art glitter glue? I think that it would probably be better if I had used the Aileen's glue because I feel like Aileen won't let me down. When it comes to that, but if if it if push comes to shove, which I hope it don't, I'll just use another piece of paper on top of it. All right, so this is how it's gonna look. You open it up, and normally a flip book is you have things that flip up and down, and we'll probably add some of that to it as well. And you open up, see. Oh my goodness. We have to put the tape where the tape wants to go. Let's rub this back in. All right, so we got that. All right. And then so you'd open it like this. Now I have some Velcro patches and I'll probably put that on and then we'll put some type of something right here. I use six by six papers from two or three different companies. So now what we have to keep in mind is this dang tape. This is why I use washi tape with glue. Okay. I never, ever, ever, ever just trust that the washi tape is going to do any type of real sticking all right so we got this and i think we're gonna take a walk on the wild side real quick this paper right here is textured paper it's like a it feels like it's a fabric on top of it okay all right there we go. And now we're going to take this pink strip. Okay, do I not know my colors? Hmm. Okay, let's see. <laughs> pink, ma'am, pink. This might be red. I think red will probably work too, but I wanted to see if we can't get this color 
I had left the house. I had just finished a project and I had glue on the top of my hand, right? Like I was rushing out to go pick up my son. And I was like, why do my fingers look like that? Oh, purple might be better. Purple will work. Let's see. Purple will work. And it was glue. I was like, am I that dry? Is my skin flaking up like that? It was the glue. It was definitely the glue. So we're going to put this up. Right here. This feels like washi tape as well, but hopefully it's a real sticker. And then we're going to cover up this crookedness with this heart. And then I want to put a circle. Why didn't they just put all the colors together in one thing? No, they had to be freaking fancy. Is this even going to fit? No, it's not going to fit. There we go. I saw a video maybe in positively paper craft. She covered paper with washing, put it through and embossed it. <gasps> Ooh, I have some embossing work to do myself today. I have some projects that I do Thursday. So now we're going to take this thing right here. Now, let me see. This says, let me guess it's your birthday. I don't want to. This is not a birthday book, y'all. And I think all this thing says birthday. Not going to work. All right. So we got this here. And we also, I also got this from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I did just take a picture, didn't I, Liz, and send it to you like this. I apologize. We're going to use this. If we had this blue, we're going to use this one, this butterfly. And we're going to put it on the front. So you get two of each um, die cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the problem is do I? Yep. So we're going to use Aileen's for this one. And I'm just trying to make a good fold. here now the color should not completely match in my opinion they should be complementary to each other versus um this is textured i chose to use a leans because i feel like it's going to do a better job at holding once it grips it it's not gripping it yet though so i gotta keep that in mind and then i think would i that looks weird too weird we'll come back okay so i'm gonna have to make sure i lay this flat okay so normally i put a card here of some sort a card normally goes here with lines and words etc 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 but today we're gonna try something different i have this from my um 10 on the 10th video and I think that this is going to be cute, right? We're going to put this here. And where is that little bird? This bird might be peeking out too much. And that don't really match. Let's find a pretty bird. I'm not saying that bird was not pretty, but it don't match what I'm looking for. And I'm going to put a card there. So let's see. 
And I don't want to. Oh, I guess we could cage a flower, huh? But that would be a bit weird. So we need a small little flower. This die is from um, Momenta. I think it was at Hobby Lobby. I could try this one. That's too big, too. We don't, I need a bird. I'll take that little bird out. Let's see. I could try this bird, I guess. Or maybe a butterfly, a smaller butterfly. Oh, no, yeah. All right, so let's see if this is going to work. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Is that going to work? No, that looks weird. All right, so that won't work. I could. I made flowers last time. That won't work either. Gosh darn it. All right, that won't work. And I don't want to stress myself out, so we won't worry about it. But just know that I want to try to use these, okay? I guess we won't be able to use it today um, in this situation, but. That is the goal. What did I just do with those things? All right, so we're going to use these little cards. I mean, don't... Well, never mind. I won't even dissuade you, but look at them. They're so small. And they're real flimsy. Like, you could take a sheet of 12 by 12 and cut these up into... What is this? 3 by 2? 3 by 4? Yeah, you could do that on your own. You don't need to waste your money on these. I said it. I thought they were going to be six by six sheets of paper, loose sheets of paper. But no. No, ma'am, they were not. All right, so let's put this back over here. Um, turn the page. Now, I do have some things that I pulled out for this um, to go in. And I have this Amy Tangerine word like big ideas is cool more of this please i think we're gonna put that on here so let's go ahead and just pull out our scissors i am taking a walk yep a walk hi foster mom how you doing today a walk on the wild side I was holding my breath for y'all. <sighs> okay, so more of this, please. I think we're gonna put this down here in the corner. And I do think we're gonna just use some regular glue. So for flip books, you need to have a lot of flipping pieces to make it a flip book. That's the beauty of it. We only have right to left so far or left to right. We don't have any top flips, um, but we will. It may have to come later mm, than normal. Let's see. Oh, I can't wait to use that. You know, I need some, I need, I got vellum in the mail from two lovely people. I haven't used that vellum yet, but I need to use the vellum. I need some paper real quick. Okay, so we're going to use this and this. And I'm going to try and find a different color ink than my normal black ink. I dropped my little pan of ink on the floor though and I don't feel like y'all hear me go oh oh I can't reach it oh oh <laughs> so we probably won't uh do that part <laughs> 
don't mind me, okay? Um, I haven't streamed. I haven't went live in, in two weeks. You know, if I have a regular video going, I don't go live. I saw one is taken away from the other video. I'm making a flip book. Give me one second and I'll show you the book. Oh, here we go. Okay. So right now we're we're um, decorating the book. So this is a flip. This is the flip book. This has looking in this tape. It's driving me crazy. Yes, that's gonna have to be on my YouTube, my other YouTube channel though. Um, cause you know, I live stream on Twitch. So yeah. Um, but it's Rana blue on Twitch. Um, so this is how it looks so far. And then this is the back. So now what, what I will do is I will add flip pages up. So we'll take a, um, like this regular sheet of paper and we'll cover it up and we'll have it flip up like that so what i could do is fold this over or a sheet of paper over cut this line right here because we use envelopes and stick this in there and have it flip up or just take a regular sheet of paper like this fold it over and do and do that as well but i want to make some tickets to go in the book so we're going to try this pick raspberry Although, do you? Nah, you know what we're going to do? We're not going to do that. We're going to do this. So, Frosty, I live stream Monday, Thursday, and Friday on Twitch from 10 a.m. Um, Central Standard Time to roughly 12.01. That's why if you ever notice, like when I'm in your stream and I go real quiet, it's because I'm streaming. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we can get this to look better. Yeah, because this 35 is messed up. But that's okay. I mean, it's an old ticket. We're going to make it look a little bit vintage. -y. We're going to just use this pink raspberry as that, though. And I think next week we'll probably do some watercoloring projects. I'm not sure. Cause I have a video that's due tomorrow, um, a jewelry making video. So we'll see. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we get this five going better. No. What's going on, five? Don't want to act right. So if you had like a decorative sheet of paper, this would be good to cut it out and have like that little background. But we don't have a decorative sheet of paper that I want to do that on. All right. What this is going to have to do, just blowing it on it to dry this ink. It's first fine ink. It's... Um, pigment ink so it has different properties than the other ink and now we're going to just take this color and rub it so you know I wanted to buy some tickets the other day right <laughs> don't judge me okay and I was like because it was it was a good deal and that's my issue. Good deals will bring me down quicker than being sick. Because I try to fight the, I try to fight through the sickness. But good deals, mm -mm, good deals have me by the throat. Um, so anyway, um, I told myself, I was like, so you're gonna buy some tickets, huh? You already have a ticket stamp, a ticket die thingamajig. What are you buying these tickets for? Um, and I'm not sure if you all have those come to Jesus talks when you're talking to yourself about whatever you don't need to be buying for whatever reason. Right. And I was like, 
yeah, I know. You know, I'm talking to myself like, I know I got the ticket thing already, but these are already made for me. <laughs> and I feel like I gave myself a side eye, like, mm -mm, put that mess back. So I didn't get it. Again, I'm trying to um, be a better steward of my money. Don't get me wrong. I still buy dumb craft stuff. <laughs> oh, huh? But I'm trying to be better with the dumb craft stuff. So we're just going to cut this down here. And if you really wanted a fancy ticket, you could have just cut it on a different color sheet of paper. It have to be a white sheet of paper. So you can take your color paper and get some really good black ink and, and you have a bunch of um, tickets. You could also probably find a ticket that people are giving away for free on the internet and use that as well. Or we could just take it back to stamp and die in and stamp it out. You know, I feel like I always say this, and I mean it. I mean this so much. I do not like fussy cutting. I really don't like fussy cutting at all. But here we are. Fussy cutting hour. Oh, messed that one up. Y'all shop at Hobby Lobby? What's that for, Samara? So now we're going to take our whole punch. <laughs> it's the fussy cutting hour. I don't like it, but hey, here we are. <laughs> she like girl you know you like fussy cutting I really don't always trying to explain why not being a good student of my money to yeah I'm trying I told myself that I, this year would be a lot different than all the other years when it came to craft supplies that I really would only buy the things that I was like oh I really need to add that to my thing also by adding stuff I want to get rid of uh, items as well so now we're going to go back to our strips that we cut originally and I think we need this one because we pulled that tape up and it left some a boo boo right there I've been very convicted about the you know um i will tell you that i used to be very convicted about wasteful spending um because i always feel like this was not a very good idea to do that i always feel like um there's so many people in the world that could benefit from my wastefulness and then I get really sad and I get down on myself. And then I tell myself, not that this is a good thought, but it's an okay thought. Like you've earned the money. You have a right to spend your money how you want to spend your money. And you can't be mad at yourself because you want to buy a, a latte, especially if all your bills are paid and you have you you know you're not living on the street buying lattes stop being so um hard on yourself but i'm very very uh hard on myself so my friends always like stop being so hard on yourself stop being so hard on yourself so we're gonna go ahead and make this little pocket real quick and it's easier said than done to be like stop it you know it's easy to say stop don't do that it's hard to stop though so I've been just trying to be more mindful of the things that I um, put money into versus out of. 
That's what I've been telling myself lately. Yeah. Like you deserve, you have, you know, you know what you do. You deserve it. I, I, and I understand it is harder sometimes for people to understand that they are worth every dime that they spend on themselves. Where other people are like, shoot, I made this money. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So we're going to put this. This is not going to go in there. We're going to, um, I guess we'll have to put this flower is so bright and bold. Huh? That don't look right in there. Uh, <laughs> uh, D stashes, huh? I buy D stashes myself. I got this in Happy Mail. Yeah. But I, so for me, right, I haven't bought any craft stuff this year. Not intentional craft stuff. I do have subscriptions. But I haven't went out. Uh, my mind always says, what if something happens and you need that money? Sell your stuff. Not, you know, your craft stuff. Not the other stuff. But, um you know um sell it i think i think that oh, i apologize <laughs> i think that our mindset as people uh, sucks when it comes to ourselves right like we may spend money on stupid stuff that we buy but then we're like oh I don't really need this I have that I could just make do and you're like constantly thinking about why you didn't buy it just buy it I love this picture this is a beautiful picture I did go online and find some of these images before and I printed them out and we did some scanning cutting with them this um does save the trouble and it gets really close into I think these are very worth the price you know two dollars and some change three dollars whatever 499 40 percent off um a very good deal in my opinion so here we go so now flip book a lot of times when you get a flip book flip books are for your the recipient to do whatever they want to do to the book like add things to it take away and technically from when i first started doing research on flip books flip books are books that can be destroyed and used in other ways when i first started that like people made washi that's why the wash tape was so good to use because it wasn't um you don't have to i mean the thing this is this is this is what i'll say and then i'll get off of this nonsense um look we have a card that fits in um you work hard for your money very very hard for your money and i'm not saying go out there and spend every dang dime you get we're going to use this uh, no, we're going to use some tape, not no glue. That's not what I'm saying. But if you see something, like really, when you think about it, what is $10 going to hurt? Nothing. Not a thing. We don't have any tape at the desk. Oh, here it go right here. Um, <laughs> $10 is not going to hurt something. And if you set aside some crafting money versus on the fly money, then if you say I'm going to put $10 aside for myself every two paychecks, then you have a, a, a little splurgy room budget for yourself to go out and buy something. But if you don't want to do that, then, you know, you don't have to. I just think that it's easier. It's a lot easier to talk yourself out of buying things when you already had that mindset of not buying stuff. Does it make sense? Like, you're like, I'm not going to buy it. Then you can talk yourself out of it. Like, I have this gift card I've had for some months now. And then I got another gift card um, to Hobby Lobby. And I went to Walmart and bought food with the gift card. <laughs> that mindset has got to change on some things. So now when I go grocery shopping, I always tell the the big and little roommate this is for me only yeah they do that they do that i don't i just i said um but lately i've been like i'm not buying anything i'm gonna i'm not gonna buy anything i'm not gonna buy anything um unless i really really need it 
and I don't really, really need it. So that's the thing. All right, so we got our little sheet of paper right here. And we're gonna put we're gonna put our flip on this page so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, five to ten dollars a month on it. The bad thing about craft supplies is they're very expensive though. Like you can't really say, I'm gonna just spend five dollars and be done. I don't know any good five dollar crafts for one thing. I know five dollar items for multiple things. So we're going to try to find, ooh, can we do this? So this, um, Sherry, these are how they are. And you know, I think this was like $3 or something. I bought it for these pieces right here because, you know, I like to do vintage -y looking things. So I thought that was great. The one thing I don't do a lot of is I don't buy D stashes from people that upcharge on the D stash. So when I'm looking, I'm like, okay, is, how much is this for real? Unless it's a hard to get item, then I'm like, okay. I wasn't going to buy anything, but then I remember I had a gift. Yeah, see, no, I have I have a gift card, a few. Um, and I try not to keep the gift cards too long, just in case the company decides to start charging. Like, that's what happened to me. I had bought a Visa card. I got a Visa gift card. And they started deducting from it. I was reading this thing. It says, I hope you're okay. Please come home. I don't like that. All right, so we're going to do our flip here. We're just going to make a little design over here. Now, this washi tape is very pretty. And I think we can get away with it right here so let's go ahead and tear this yep yeah you know gift card money ain't the same as your money gift card money is your money on a gift card <laughs> Yeah, Anna Griffin, I, I I only buy on sale, only on sale, because I just can't, I can't, I don't, mm, no words, I have no words. I'm not a part of that group, the Anna Knights or whatever they call them, yeah, I can't, mm -mm. I'd be mad at myself, be like, why you spend all this money on this one item? I did that, and I was like, ooh, but it was on sale, and I got it, the train, right? All right, so now we're going to put some more stickers because if you don't have a sticker, then darling, what are you doing with your craft life? I just need to get them. Um, I got this for $2.99 as well. I thought these were really cute. They are um, biblical and inspirational words, $2.99 for 483 pieces as well. And they have, this is why I really got these because I was like, I can take some of these and put them in my own craft pieces. But see, these words, marvelous are thy works. Um, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelously are thy works. And thy, and that my soul knoweth right well. So these are all um, biblical things, inspirational things. And I like these little clear stickers have a little faith. I want to put this shine in here. So I I never purchase things like stickers. Like this is a happy planner sticker. I didn't buy it to do any happy planning stuff. Today is is it crafting? Oh my goodness, I have to go and check it out. I have been wanting to get into um Oh, no, it ain't guilt free. But yeah, uh, I have been wanting to look at some more diamond press uh, folders. So hopefully they have a sale. We're going to put some on the back. Normally I say leave it blank, but we're going to put some on the back real quick. I thought this would be very pretty. 
it is well with my soul. I think that will go great. I um I hope everyone's having a good first couple of days in the year. Can y'all believe we're in double digits? Like in two or three days, what three days? It's gonna be twenty. And I just want to say, if you are not stopping and smelling the roses, please do. Like, I think that's what happens. We rush the the seasons. We rush the days. And, you know, when you get older, you start feeling like, where did the time go? And then you can reflect. And that's what I like to do. This is so pretty. I did not know today was HSN day. Actually, I had an idea because... Um, Crafters Companion was like, see what Sarah has for HSN. And I, I love Crafters Companion, but if you're not crafting stuff, then don't buy it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. It's like three or four little um, tabs. So this is what a flip book is, um, everyone. A flip book is a book of goodies. And you normally you do a flip book swap with someone. And they, you know, you say, I want to do a flip book swap. Where was this sticker book from? This is from a Tuesday morning for three dollars i was like you know what this is a good deal because dollar tree if i bought it from dollar tree blah 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 blah. you know that's how i rationalize it would i have bought this from the dollar tree you only get x amount of blah blah blahs and all this nonsense so yeah thank you so much i am trying my best to be very creative and this you know this dang glue we might have to put Aileen in the game. And this butterfly is supposed to fly, but it's it's not going to fly like an eagle. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this little flip piece in so you all can see how I would do it. And I think, I do think that we're going to just, oh, I hate to waste this paper. I'm going to take this gonna score it doesn't matter where you score it at however much however big you want it to be is the thing my boy is going to be 30 on friday oh congratulations amazing that this book was made using them looks oh thank you um chocolate city i appreciate that happy birthday to your son 30 wow i remember when i turned 30 <laughs> When I turned 30, I was like, no more Ms. Nice Brandy. She wasn't working. Now you're going to get the... Mm. I'm telling everybody off. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so here's our flip up. And we're going to put some stuff on here. Right quick, let's put this to the side. And I think we could put a little tag. Oh, yes. Put this tag and these little dumb papers that I bought. I have tried to make these a couple of times, never like it. You don't have Tuesday morning? I don't, so I would offer to go and get them for you, and then you know, we can do the whole transaction or whatever but i don't think they have any more when i went back i mean i could check i could always check when i went the next time because it was 2.99 then i don't know if the price the price did go up recently so i think it's 3.29 now so that's how much they would cost now um but when i went back they didn't have any of these. They had some really cool stickers. I mean, stamps. And I was like, oh, stamps. And then I saw the price. And I was like, uh-uh. This, this, that feeling, you know, this too shall pass. Um, is what I told myself. Just lay down and think about it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this back up. I am trying to be less, you know, less messy on my desk. It's not working. We don't have those here. Yes. 
All right, so we're going to do this like so. And if we put this as the flip, let's find this thing. I mean, we could put this as the flip, right? I don't want that as the flip, though. gonna burnish this down some more because I need for this fold to be very um, creased loose I'm gonna cut a little sliver right here You'd probably be better with an X-Acto knife, but I don't have um, one at the table. Probably be better. You can just cut us a, a nice clean cut. These are my go-to scissors though. I trust them. Okay. Then I'm going to cut a triangle. A pretty big uh, triangle, so not a 90 degree one, right? A perfect triangle. And let's see. I'm going to bring it to my face some. All right. I'm just going to cut this a little bit more. What's for dinner, y'all? What y'all making for dinner? I'm making linguine. Shipping has gotten, sh shipping is, shipping is definitely uh, a deterrent for me to buy things. So I'm going to slide this all the way over as possible. Remember we had this little tap from the envelope right there as well so all right yep that's how we want it to be let's go ahead and get this glue going and we're gonna put glue on both sides and that little torn ragged looking edge side we're gonna fix that as well so no worries if you're concerned you could do this ahead of time versus wait to the last minute and you didn't have to cut your paper you could just use regular paper and you could also um just glue it on top of the paper but people got to be extra sometimes all right Shipping and handling is crazy. I'm not sure. Is it $5 today on HSN? I most likely won't buy anything. I always like to see what the the subscription thing is. Like the, you know, the 12 months or six month subscription and get it then. Okay. There we go. So this is a flip. This would be a flip. And you could also have a flip come out this way. So the flip is not, you know, you're not expecting to have a flip. You open it up. This feels like a planner to me. Uh, um, This paper. Then you open it up. 
and you can write stuff in here, coordinates or whatever. You have one little piece. Then you take this. You have some little stickies. Then I feel like more of this should be a picture of happy. But, you know, whatever the person decides to put on there. And then you have this. And we're going to go ahead and decorate this really quickly. I kind of want this on here, but it it's not the right color. It should be pink. Or something like that. We're having trouble with our grandsons only eating pasta for every meal. Does you? Listen, <laughs> my son, I'm like, what would you like to eat noodles? Noodles. From what I hear, boys are like that, annoying with the food choices. So, <laughs> my son drives me crazy. Then I'm like, you want noodles tonight? No, I want something healthy. Yeah, my son is seven, so I want something healthy. Okay, son. Um, I don't know what's going on with this paper. I guess it got twisted in transition. But the secret ingredient is always love. Let's try that one. This is a foodie one. I got it um, for other reasons. Life is what you bake it. Food is love. Happiness is homemade. I do think we're going to put this on here, though, because this is a homemade creation. No shipping deals today. Yeah, because they probably had shipping deals yesterday that ended at midnight. And they'll probably have shipping deals tomorrow. And whatever the thing that's on sale won't be on sale. Those are my thoughts, but I don't know. All right, so I'm just rubbing this Happiness is Homemade at the bottom right here. And then we're going to put the secret ingredient is love on our flip. I think we're going to make this a length flip like that. That red don't fit. That red does not fit. Let's put it over here. Let's put it right back where we got it from. Because it don't fit. Yeah, I don't I don't plan on ordering. Life is sweet. Now this might fit. Let's see. This one is really, really like a planner planner one. <laughs> it has a lot of food in it. But I was like, we could still make it work. We could still make it work. Hmm, what the other one? This is not working. Oh, it's over here. What do I do with it? Okay, it's right here. We're going to try to find something to go right here. I just want something um, not too strong, but not too light. Right here. Grace for today it will work. Yeah, because it has a lot of flowers and stuff. I'm gonna put it. Oh no. And then we're gonna put I think we have oh yeah yeah yeah. We're going to put um, this peachy one on here as well. And I think this will go good. Right here. So I think that will work for us because it looks like this. And then I want to put, excuse me one second, everyone. Okay, um, Chocolate City Sim, work is important. Have a good one. I will definitely chat with you later. This washi tape is driving me crazy. 
Um, so we're going to have this here. And I'm going to go ahead and I was not going to put anything here because I didn't want to make a string wrap around because I didn't. I, the string, in my opinion, don't look right right there. <laughs> Like wrapping around, so I was gonna put like a little gem or something here, but we need something to close it. So I wanted to do a little Velcro right there. So that's the goal, a Velcro piece, and I'll show you how it's supposed to look. Like that. Right, so the, this inside strip is just an inside strip. It's not really supposed to be anything, but this is how I want it to look. So I just need to put some more glue here and leave it open. And then when you open it, the Velcro, see it's supposed to be Velcro right there, not regular tape. And this tape is very strong, y'all. <laughs> Very, very strong. I'll fix that. I may have to take that up. But yeah, that's what I want to be on there. Let's put this to the side because this is trash. So that's the goal. I have some little Dollar Tree Velcro um, thingamajiggies that go right there. So then we're going to open this up. This is good. If y'all see any spots that you think we should color or cover up, let me know. And then we have this a picture, this little thing right here. Then here, and then you have Grace for Today, and you have this. Happiness is homemade. I feel like they could put whatever they want here, and then a picture there. What do y'all think? Y'all think we did a good job? Did we miss anything? Are we missing something? Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. I think I'm just going to put these things up and then we're going to talk about, um, we're going to discuss the start of another craft project, but I can't do that with my six by six workspace. So we're just going to do all of this over out the way. Then I put the, I'm going to put this glue over here as well. So maybe the glue can be working as we're chit chatting. I'm going to open this back up. I think I'm just going to put Aileen's on here. And hopefully that'll work. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. We can't. Because I was going to let it sit. And, you know, if you leave Aileen, if you leave tacky glue, we didn't even put our, we didn't even put the tags in that we made for it. If we leave this tacky glue out, it'll turn into an adhesive. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to use this glue again. Hopefully it does this J O. B. All right. I have to go to the bank today. <laughs> I do not feel like adulting. Like, you ever wake up and be like, I just want to play in my craft stuff. I want to play in my toys. But people are like, I'm hungry. I, um, wear my sock, wear my shoes. If you have a child and your child has never lost their shoes, tell me how you did it. So we just rubbed this in like that and we're going to clean up. Adulting is so overrated. Oh, my goodness. You don't know that until you become an adult, though, because you want to be in charge, right? I can't wait to become an adult and get my own house and I'm not here anymore. I'm like, go, go, go now. Let me get you, uh, let me take you to the police department. That's what I was telling him. Take you to the police department, okay? And they can help you. I want my own job. Mm -mm. You don't know, you don't, you don't know what you're saying. You do not know what you're saying. You don't want to live, you don't want to be away from your mom and dad. <laughs> Trust me. You want us to baby you and take care of you as long as possible. All right, so. I made a purchase over the weekend. It was a wasteful purchase. I bought some beads, y'all, off of Amazon. Um, and I did not need them. The one thing I don't need is paper and beads. The one thing I always spend my money on is paper and beads. 
Is that how it's supposed to work? It's a lot of pony beads in there. So I um I bought some of those Velcro dots from Amazon and didn't pay attention. And I think I got 200. I'll never use them in my lifetime. Well, you got to make a lot of Velcro projects. <laughs> I might have to go on Amazon and get some dots. But I have some already. Um, you know, back up if I ever do it. I think I always say I'm going to use these things and then I don't use them as much as I should. Like I went upstairs and got ribbon and we didn't even use ribbon today. All right, so we got this semi-clean. Bear Crafty might still be here watching. We want to make sure it's clean and good to go. <laughs> I, um, I want to... Oh, is it a boy thing? Oh, okay. I can't wait. I want to be grown go we're gonna do um some discussion real quick and then um i'm trying to see if i have my bead working stuff here and i don't or do i can i read oh no 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 um gonna work on um some valentine's day stuff and you know last year i tried my hardest to do the valentine's day thing and i could not i was sick i was sick from december to march so i bought this not recently last year <laughs> last month right i think i got this in december october november um Oh, the fire department? Yeah, I might have to start taking them to the fire department then. Because we have a fire department right around the corner. I can walk his little butt there. Um, but I wanted to go through this and see because I want, I just want y'all to know, since we had a conversation, we had the conversation about thumbnails, right? And the consensus that I got is that you guys want me to show you. So you want me to do a video and take a picture and then show you some of the work. That's what I got from it, a sneak peek. We're gonna test this theory out in the next coming days. But I have a, I want to do a um, two new series aside from my, um, what is that word, collaboration? Cause I was going back over my videos and I only have collaboration videos. I don't have, a bunch of oh look at what I made videos so I want to do that okay so we have these two it says two magazines in one ready to trace template pack digi stamps craft buys and more and we have this one but I really want to see this thing right here is this the one sweet story so I want to look at that one I bought my grand a new hoodie for six dollars and he wore it once in Oh, that hurt my feelings. That hurt my feelings. It's this one that I want to look at. Because I've been looking into curated cards that are already there and, and for us. And I want to see this, this kit right here. And plus, look at these beautiful butterflies. You know I'm into butterflies. But this one right here. right here. Biggest, bettest. So this is, you know, we don't get these in the States. They come from over in the UK because UK crafters probably craft a lot more than we do in America. But um, it's America. Uh, huge multi-craft kit, 18 projects to copy. And it's from Creating Craft, which I like them. I don't buy a lot. I don't buy a lot of stuff from them, though, just because their shipping, it seems a little bit off to me. But I do buy things from HSN as well as um, Crafters Companion, which I've told myself, you got to stop. You have got to stop. Purple is not my thing, and I have a lot of purple craft stuff, if you know what I mean. All right, so we got this. We're going to look at this really quickly, and it's a magazine. 
and it says exclusive hunky dory digital designs. I want y'all to know I am into easel cards again for whatever reason. So, and look at this do it yourself daisies. We could do that. But I want to look at this bumper. I think I'm a jig. Um, this has been sitting here waiting to be played with since November. I got this from Sam's Club. Sam's Club usually has a good discount on um these things. Well, they did before um COVID happened. So get what you you know, if you see it and you think it's a decent price, then buy it. If not, it's not that I don't like purple considering one of my good friends likes purple um or two of them i just like blue what's wrong with blue like blue and green are beautiful colors like i don't know why wouldn't i like those colors oh that purple ew i'm just saying you know it's more like candy mm. so i've been i've been wanting to purchase these things and do things with them and you know we're in the month the first three months, I usually do a lot of flower themed things. So uh, I'm not a fan of this, just so y'all know. I'm not a fan of that. These breaking the things down. Because I, in my head, look at this little tiny piece. What's this little tiny piece for? What's that little baby thing for? We don't know. We're going to put this to the side. And then they have pre folded cards. And they're off. They're crooked, just so y'all know. That's okay. This is a whole... The, in, in, be careful with your words, ma'am. I am. I'm going to be very careful. I feel like in the past, this could be considered cheating. A cheating card set, right? But now, we don't cheat. We don't. We don't think of it like that. We have these things lord stuck to the thing that's okay so we got this we're going to make one or two cards together and see where it goes i like purple everyone but it's not my main color that's all i'll say so we got this right here i am going to assume that this is a flip up card. We're going to see. Let's find these instructions. Oh, look at this. Very pretty. These little birds. Super cute. And then this. So you can go online and get a lot of printable things. I mean, I'm going to try this, um, not, not, um, we're going to try this very soon, right? Very, very soon. But with watercoloring. Okay. Uh, magazine. Really? All right. Let's see. What is this thing called? Because it has no instructions, just so y'all know. Zero instructions. Biggest ever card making and gift box. Your kit includes 115 die cuts, 16 blank cards, 16 beautiful paper designs, and one stunning washi tape. Yeah, they're expensive. I got this from um, um, Sam's. I think I spent $20 for the whole thing. Sam's Club. Um, one heart template and phone pads make 16 cards all right y'all ain't no instructions is this really what we're going to do we're going to make up these cards this is not going to work well for us so let's go ahead and try to find this thing right quick i used to do a magazine um thing and then i stopped doing it because i just didn't want people to get tired of that so it's like a magazine flip through okay so here we go all right i just want to do one card it's not gonna let us 
It's not going to let us. It's not going to let us. Um, yeah. So this piece says a slim greeting card, just a note. <laughs> all right, that's okay. That's okay. No worries. We're just going to put all this stuff up. And this is how you have craft supplies that you never use because you, you, you think you have an interest in it. I do have an interest in card making, so don't get me wrong on that. But then you get the supplies and you open it up and then the instructions are not super duper clear. And you're like, what? Well, at least I am like that. So we're going to go ahead and um, I want to say thank you all so very, very much for hanging out with me today. I do apologize for the sound issues earlier. I tried to download a new program to make things better and it just made stuff worse. So, yeah. But I'm going to put this Velcro patch on here and that will be it. And you see this wash tape is like, I refuse. I refuse. But anyway, I want to say thank you so very much for hanging out with me. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, words cannot even begin to describe my funness for you all and my appreciation. Um, I will be back next Wednesday. I have a project tomorrow that's coming up. And I don't know. I... Um, We'll have to see about these uh, thumbnails. Um, I'll be harassing y'all later, sure, about the thumbnails. So thank you again. Until next time, happy crafting.